I'm going to throw a curveball then. You did anyone hear that they found organic matter on Mars? I saw your. Uh... <laughs> I'm just like, that's huge. So I've got a couple of mates of mine who studied biology at uni and I went to them and just went, look, what is, what is that definition? And they said, well, it could be dead plant matter. It could be dead animal matter. It could be feces. But they also said, and it says very clearly on, on NASA, they also said it could be meteorite impact. And it could be water mixing with soil and eventually creating organic matter over maybe millions of years, billions of years, I don't know. But the weird thing is they haven't specified what it is, just that it's organic matter, which I find fascinating in itself. But that's huge because it means you can grow life, I would assume, from organic matter. That would be my would assumption. Would organic matter contain DNA? It depends what it is. So if it was dead plant matter or bone or feces, then yes. If it's just meteorite organic compounds, then no. It would literally just be a mixture of carbon, I believe hydrogen and maybe sulfates or, or something along those lines. That it, it, I, th I think the more important thing is the fact that, from my understanding, you could grow stuff, which then means there is potential for life on Mars. And they're not even, they're not even at the you know, North Pole, where there's more likely to be ice and water, they're in the, if I remember correctly, the sort of mid-range of of the equator of Mars. So that's... Isn't it more likely it's just another mistake? Because they keep finding all sorts of things that uh, look like uh, look like this and that and the other, look like Coca-Cola cans and, and so on. I mean... Unless they can bring like, the sample back, yeah, it's yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. It's nice. Well, I guess they can analyze it. They wouldn't have come out and said it otherwise, would they? But no, wouldn't that have been all over all the news if they'd actually found life on, or, or, or oh, but sure they'd found it. That's why that yeah. Well, that's why I said, isn't it odd that it's organic? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What was it? Organic compound, and I find that mm. odd. Like, why aren't you being more specific? You've got a camera; you can clearly visualize yeah. it. But what does that mean? In the layman's term, because I had to, because I read it and I read through it three times and I was like, still not clear. And I had to go to a friend of mine, or two friends of mine, three friends of mine, who all studied biology at university to get them to give me a layman's term definition. And those were the basic five things that it could be. But mm. why NASA hasn't said anything, I don't know. But I think it's more of the fact, and you're right, it could be wrong, but I assume they wouldn't have said it unless they'd analyzed the soil, which I know they've got the components to they have the scientific equipment to do on the on the rover i i'm sorry to be a skeptic a skeptical about this but no, I, I, it seems to me that if, if they had definitely found life on mars we would all know about it now it would have been front page on every 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 newspaper and have been at the top of the news everywhere it's not it's something uh, matt damon left behind is it <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's funny i i i admire your um interest uh it's a bit mad for me to be honest i I'd probably missed the point but i yeah. <laughs> sorry i'm not really into compost you know <laughs> <laughs> sorry sorry alex you know i love you <laughs> no. all right I tell, you what, I tell you what just on on that subject i was watching a program last night about the james webb telescope it's taken 30 years to build Ten thousand people cost eight billion and uh, you know it's the most sophisticated instrument ever built, and that's about a quarter of what we spent on Dust and Trace, which didn't really work. <laughs> that's right. Quite well, that. Uh, we already had a Test and Trace system for HIV, and they didn't use it. Really? Yeah. So instead of going to the HIV department with the NHS and going, "Oh, you've got this Test and Trace system. Can we implement it? How will we expand on it?" It's a mate. But then, then how would how would Dido Harding make all that money if you already yeah, use exactly. the existing system? I, I love the test and trace uh, budget as a as a benchmark. I mean, they're saying, oh, we could never possibly privatize the water industry. It cost eight billion pounds. <laughs> yeah, that's a bargain, isn't it? Compared to test and trace, bloody hell. <laughs> you know, do you know how much it would cost to do a green wall across the whole of North Africa? Probably about kilometer in depth to reduce the size of the Sahara about a billion dollars is that all 
That's all. A billion dollars. And you, I mean, it's not quick because you've got to let the trees grow, but they've done it in the South. And you'd well, think... you think get some of that compost from Mars down, that would help. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm trying to show interest. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's really good. But, There'll probably be uh, someone in the government trying to figure out how to swindle us on that one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Special Martian compost. Yeah. Someone would probably pay a billion to do that. Elon Musk. Oh, no, he's got no money now, has he? He's gone apparently bust, yeah, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Is he? Apparently, every, like, something ridiculous, like 500, I don't know, 500,000 or something switched over to this other version of Twitter, which was run by uh, Zuckerberg. Yeah, threads. It's awful. I've had a look. You know, I, I, I did. I switched over immediately the moment it was available, and I used it for about an hour, and I've never been back. Yeah, me too, Michael. I think yeah, a lot yeah, of people are the same. Mm. What? It's actually good. I'm new. It looks the same as it's the same as Twitter. So you go back to Twitter where you know everybody and you've got your followers and you exactly. follow people. And, and there's less the, there's less stuff about cats as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And it's got news and literally Zuckerberg's made a carbon copy of Twitter. Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, that. The most disappointing thing, I could see nothing about compost on Mars on threads, so I thought <laughs> now I'll leave that. Was... <laughs> sorry, sorry, was... sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> fine, fine. Um, <laughs> can we get on with the show? <laughs> sorry, yeah. <laughs>